What's up guys and welcome to the 71st Xamarin Android tutorial. So this video is going to be a pretty short one. It's just going to consist of how to share some simple stuff with your, uh, how to allow your user to share some simple stuff with their, with the public or their friends on Facebook and whatever. Uh, so this is going to get you kind of set up and set up with a provider that you need to, to declare and kind of the, the basically the recipe to start a share with the share content and then um, hopefully get you used to, to doing that uh, to move on if you want to share like, you know, photos and images and stuff like that. Um, you'll see that a lot of it set up the same way. So what we got going on here though is um, we got a Facebook button that is rendered by declaring a share button through Facebook. And once you click on that, it'll take you to a dialogue that will then let you write whatever you want, uh, let the user pick who they, how, who they want to share this post with, and then ultimately share it uh, or just cancel it and then return re control back to your application. Um, so it is a really convenient way to be able to set up and you'll see here in a few seconds that it's not really too bad to do and then you know once you have the hang of this you can build off of this and then um, go to, to share a little more complex stuff if you want your app to have that functionality such as like pictures and photos and, and multiple photos and, and stuff like that alright so this is what we're gonna be working on in this tutorial alright guys let's get this party started so uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to set up a a content or a provider. So the provider is what's going to allow us to share videos and images and stuff like that when it when we need be. So I just want to point that out to you guys to make sure that you know to uh, set this set this up. So the way we're going to do that we're, we're going to do it through the manifest, of course, and we're going to want to make sure that's inside the application tag. So we're going to do it right here, and we're going to do provider, and then we're going to do Android. Spell it right first. Authorities, and then um, we're gonna give it the the package. So Facebook app dot Facebook content provider. And this part's important, guys. So what we're gonna want to do is we're going to want to actually finish off uh, this part with our app ID that we got from the developer console when we first set up the Facebook SDK. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. And then for you, of course, it's going to be different because you're going to have a different app ID. So make sure you just paste that and concatenate it after the Facebook content provider. And next, we'll set up the name, which we'll do Facebook dot Facebook content provider. And the last one, the last uh, property is going to be the exported which we're gonna set to true. Let's go ahead and close that off. All right guys, and that should, that should uh, suffice. So just remember to concatenate this last part with your the content provider, then the last part with your app ID. And uh, that should be good to go. Let me uh, double check everything, make sure it looks good. Looking good to me. Let's go ahead and close it. All right, so now that we have our, our, con our provider you know, set up and declared, what we can now do is we can actually now share some stuff and I'm just going to kind of get, get you on the right path to sharing and basically it's, it's what you do is you use a builder to, to set up a, uh, a content and then you add stuff to that content and then finally you actually call the content through a uh, Facebook dialogue or uh, a button that will call a dialogue. Okay, So there's many different ways. And a lot of this comes from the documentation like I've showed you in the previous videos. So if you do uh, get a little lost or you just want to learn more, a lot of this is coming from the, from the uh, documentation for Facebook, of course. So, you know, just check that out. A lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of this is in Java, but, you know, to translate it to C Sharp uh, isn't really too bad. So uh, what's going to happen, guys, is we're going to actually add a button here. So right below our text view, we're going to add a button. And that button is going to have to be coming from the, the package, so the Facebook, the login, and uh, share, widget, all that good stuff. So uh, this one is going to be coming from com Facebook share widget and then share ah, button. All right, and then, then at this point, since we have that, uh, we really don't have to do anything too much, uh, too special, then we can just kind of add it like normal so we'll just call it share and then we'll do the layout width which we will do wrap content 
and then finally the layout height which we will also wrap content and let's give it some margin since we're going to be it's going to be close to that text view so let's give it a little bit of margin to give it some space here 10 dp will suffice and uh do we need anything else so the layout gravity of course is going to need to it's going to center it and let's close that off guys all right so uh, it's looking pretty good that should that should be good enough and so this is going to be a share button guys and what we're going to do we're going to come back now to our main activity which is uh, i haven't changed anything since the last tutorial so this should all be the, if you're following along from, from the last video and all the other videos especially it should be uh your code should look pretty pretty similar to this one and i've set up the uh share button so just remember that the share button is something that you might have to import and it's coming from the Xamarin Facebook share widget share button uh, namespace. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do button share and then of course do the find view by ID, which make sure it's coming from the ID button share, which is what I called it, what I named it. You can name it whatever you want, of course. And now Facebook, since it's a Facebook, it's coming from the Facebook SDK, it's going to take care of a lot of it for us. We just need to let it know what's going to happen when it's clicked. So when it's clicked, we need to tell it, do this. And um, you you know you can do a lot of stuff with this is with the content you can do lots of stuff what I said look in the documentation for. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up a uh, yeah share link content. So it's called a share link content, and there's many other contents that derive from the base content. So you can start putting whatever into it, and a lot of them work like this. They'll do a, a share link content, and then what you'll do is dot builder. So a new share link content dot builder. So something that builds it and then you can give it a whole bunch of parameters and stuff. Um, or you can just build it, which will return of course a share link content. So now that we have this, we can start adding to it and, and doing a bunch of stuff, uh, with before building it or even after. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it to the button. So I'm going to do M button share, which is a button that we just created. And then I'm gonna do share content, which is going to be this stuff right here. Okay. This is a, uh, derived class from shared content. So, you know, assigning this will be just fine. And that's what I'll do. So I'm going to say uh, button shared content. So you know, here's what to do when we, when, when, the, when the user clicks on it and this automatically shows up a show dialogue. Okay. And then a show dialogue is a, uh, is basically just in, inside the Facebook SDK. So, or I'm sorry, a share dialogue. Uh, I, I said show, but a uh, share dialogue, sorry is going to be the the way to manually pull up a share dialog based on the content or you can just do it a button and then give the button a content and then it'll pull up a share dialog automatically so you know there's many different ways to go about doing this and i think that's kind of cool because then you you know you have different ways whatever works best for you if you want some a little more control if you don't then you can just you know have the button do a lot of the work for you just tell it what to do so it really gives you a lot of uh, freedom to really just start interacting with the SDK. So that being said, let's go ahead and run it. And what we should expect to see to happen, guys, is, um, let's see, button share, a few string ID. So I'm getting a little error over in the AXML and I did not put the ID. So that's more likely what it was, no big deal. So what we should expect to happen, guys, is we should expect to see a button now, of course, a Facebook rendered button. And then when we click on that button, since we told it what to do, it's going to pull up a shared leak content. And what that's going to allow us to do is just share something to our post. So or, or to our uh, Facebook, so to post something to it. So uh, here's here's the button that we now created. As you see, it's got the Facebook logo and all that good stuff. And we can hit that. It'll load up and then the uh, a Facebook activity or, or basically a dialogue, I'm sorry, will come up and you know, then you can start writing something to your post. You can now do it to your friends or, you know, to the public or whatever, and then ultimately just share it or just cancel. So, you know, when you write something to this, now what it should do is it should post this to your, your, to your Facebook account and then, you know, visible to whoever you specify here. All right, so that one's pretty. Uh, that one's pretty simple, you know. I mean, it kind of gets you started, hopefully, in the right direction of how the SDK and sharing works. 
like I said, there's many other shared link contents. There's a share photo, share video. And because we have the provider now set up, we can now do that. And with this uh, button, we can also we can also now have the control of pulling up the share dialog. And if you want to, uh, you are if you are curious, the share dialog is something that looks like this. And this is also part of the SDK. So and the way we can do this, just to show you guys real quick, is a share dialog, pass in an activity. And then what we'll do is we'll do show, all right? And then we, it wants the same thing, it wants uh, a content. So share content and then the mode, or you can just pass in, pass in a content through here, which we could do what I mean like this. And then that would do the same thing, all right guys? So this would do the same thing as the button taking care of us, taking care of this for us. However, you know, say we're gonna actually have to manually call this. So this is an action. So we would have to put this into a button click. So we would have to do something like button click plus equals, you know, um, all that good stuff. Oops. Something like that would, would work out just for right now. And then we would have to put this code inside of the click event. So there you go. I mean, like, so that's going to be something like that. But we you know the thing is, guys, we don't have to worry about doing this whole her block of code because the fact that this is uh, an, a synonymous to this. Okay, so you know. But it, what's nice about this, if you want a little more control, say if you have your own button and you want to do your own things with the, with your own button, you want to style your own way, or you know, you want you have a little more more. Um, you want it to be more diverse, so you want it to do different things in different events, so that you can put an if condition in there. Um, inside the click of banner or whatever. So if you want more control, you know, this is the way to go. But if you're not, if you just want something simple and to like just post something easily, uh, easily post or, or to like something or, you know, a lot of the SDK will take care of things like this for you. Uh, and then of course, give you more control if you, if you need that control. So, uh, there, you know, there's a little gist in of how to set up a, uh, uh, sharing mode, I guess, you know, and how to sh set up any kind of content to share. Um, and that's just really the basics of it. And, but I mean, hope you should see, uh, if you start working with it more and then look into the developer website and the documentation that a lot of it, whether it be photos, images and stuff like that, uh, once you get into more complex sharing and liking and stuff, uh, a lot of it does work the same way. And, um, but like I said, you know, we can spend much too much time on this but hopefully I've pointed you in the right direction of being able to get the idea of at least um, setting up a basic share uh, feature for your users. All right, as always, thanks for watching guys.